Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brothers, my sisters. We have to take pride in our dress. It does not mean that because we're Muslims, we should not be taking pride in the way we dress. You don't have neat clothing, something that looks decent, reasonable, presentable. Uh, we do know that, yes, we do have rules and regulations governing uh, what we should wear in terms of the type of clothing. It should be covering, it should be modest, it shouldn't be see-through, etc. But that does not mean that we should not be uh, neat and we should not be presentable at all times. Sometimes I see people who are Muslimin, male and female, uh, who don't take pride in their dress at all. So they look very, very, uh, should I say, uh, I'm trying to choose a good word. In fact, they don't look as neat as they should. So uh, what we need to know is the Prophet ﷺ has also taught us to be clean, to be neat, to be presentable. You know, there was a companion who once walked into the presence of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he had tatty clothing. So the Prophet ﷺ asked him what he had in terms of the type of business that he had. And then he was told that this person, or he responded, saying that he was a shepherd who had so much in terms of a flock. And then he says, the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, لِيَظْهَرْ أَثَرَ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكِ Beautiful hadith that the gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be apparent upon you. When someone sees you, they should know that yes, Allah has blessed this person. It's not a matter of arrogance. And that's why I chose to speak about it for a few moments. Because someone is neat, because someone is clean, because someone is presentable, it does not mean that they are rich. Number one. Number two is, even if they are wealthy, it does not mean they're arrogant. They're just taking pride in the way they dress, in what they look like. At least they're making themselves presentable. But what makes you or breaks you is your character and conduct, your closeness to the Almighty. So if a person is very well dressed, they have a beautiful motor vehicle, they take care of uh, what Allah has blessed them with, and... They have good character, good conduct, they don't miss their salah, they, they really speak with utmost respect to everyone, then they have achieved, mashallah. But if you have a person who is not even wealthy, and they, they come across very arrogant, they despise people, they reject the truth, that is uh, a sign of a loss. So my brothers and sisters, this is a very important point, and the reason I raise it, and I'm repeating this, I have actually seen people and heard people say that, no, you know, you mustn't get yourself so neat and so proper because, you know, you give the wrong impression to the people and you start, you know, you come across very arrogant. That's not true. Uh, you must take pride in your dress and you must understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beautiful and he loves that which is beautiful. He loves that which is beautiful. Take a moment to ensure that, you know, Allah's given me something. Let me look presentable. People look at you. They must uh, be able to relate and feel that, mashallah, you know, lovely person. Person and personality. Remember, develop your personality. So uh, if Allah has blessed you, it should show upon you. Uh, sometimes you have uh, people who dress to impress people. Let's correct that. You dress for yourself. You will feel good. So much so that even your underclothing needs to be uh, good. It needs to be that which makes you feel comfortable, feel good. I remember reading once, many years back, a very important piece about how if your underclothing is actually neat, good, clean, fitting properly, you feel psychologically so much better. And I was surprised. And Later on, I learned that, you know what? It actually is true. It actually is very, very true. And we have to speak about it because if we don't speak about it, who is going to speak about it? So my brothers and sisters, remember that when we take pride in the way we're, dre we're dressing, primarily it's for ourselves. I'm doing it because I want to feel good. I mean, I, I don't want to be a person who uh, feels so... Uh, negative all day, I feel lethargic, I feel uneasy, 
I feel like I don't want to do things just because I couldn't get up in the morning. I couldn't be bothered to get up in the morning and iron my clothes. And so therefore, I didn't want to go out. I'm now feeling lazy. A lot of the times your laziness is connected to the fact that you did not get up early morning and have a shower or wash yourself, clean yourself, iron your clothing and wear it in a proper way. Because we were not prepared to do that, we felt lazy through the whole day. So I want to call on you to actually get up in the morning, Salatul Fajr, enjoy the prayer. After that, remember, uh, your routine could be different. Some people have a cup of tea, a little bit of breakfast. Some people go to the gym. Some people might exercise at home, whatever it is. Uh, some people might want to read a bit of Quran. Some people might want to spend a little bit more time, perhaps with the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, etc. But you need to know there comes a point in the morning where you have to get ready. You have to dress, you have to make sure that you feel good, even if you're not going to work and you're just going to be at home. Remember, when you look good and when you, know, when you take pride in what you look like, you automatically feel good inside you. It is something extremely important. You will definitely feel good. So even the sisters back at home, you know, your spouse is there, your kids are there. Perhaps may Allah bless us all with good spouses and children, those who don't have. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open your doors and those who do, may they be the coolness of your eyes. I mean, but that having been said, even if you're not going to be going out, you must take pride in what you look like. Come on, you know, neaten yourself, comb your hair, make sure that you, uh, you know, you've taken pride in what Allah's blessed you with. I promise you, psychologically, you will feel so much better. And even coming in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in salah, you shouldn't just be uh, in tatty clothing simply because no one's watching. You need to take pride in the dress. Uh, you, you know, you can uh, apply something good on yourself. Uh, make sure that you're not, you're not uh, smelling can I say, uh, a foul smell. You need to be having this fresh smell by the will of Allah. It will make you feel really, really good. And then you've prayed, you've freshened up, you know, and like I said, primarily it's for yourself. Yes, if you're married, you include your spouse in it as well. And for the sake of Allah, I am, Allah's blessed me. Why should I lie about it? Why should I hide it? Uh, why should I pretend like Allah hasn't blessed me? Uh, I need to have something neat, clean, good. I will feel good. So when I engage in my prayer, I'm going to feel so good about it and I'm going to feel uh, fresh. You know, when you get up for, to pray after you have read your, after you have had a bath and made your wudu correctly, uh, or you have freshened up properly and you say, Allahu Akbar, you feel so good about it. And everything is neat. The place is clean. Everything is clean. You feel good. But if it is not, trust me, even the quality of your acts of worship is compromised. And therefore, I want to add something beyond just your dressing. Your surroundings, your home, your bedding. You get up in the morning, make your bed. No matter who you are, make your bed. Try and neaten the place. Make sure that your carpet is clean if you have one. Or the surroundings, the floor, the curtains. The, the, if, you, if there is a mess around you, learn to pick it up. Learn to put it in the bin. Learn to clean. Learn to help in the home. All this will help you be a better person. You become psychologically so uplifted. And therefore, spiritually also, you will be uplifted. So remember this. Uh, try not to use foul language, even if others use the foul language. Make sure that you're a person who respects yourself before anyone else. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all ease. So my brothers and sisters, these are just a few tips. Get up in the morning, fight your laziness, learn to dress appropriately, learn to make uh, sure that you're neat and clean, very presentable. Uh, uh, you will get a reward for it. Also clean your surroundings, your environment, You know, make the bed, open the windows, freshen up. Make sure that there is fresh air. Don't leave things closed and clogged for days on ends. You know, don't collect all these, you know, don't all the clutter. Everything actually uh, starts collecting. Learn to give things away. Learn to be generous. Don't just collect, but learn to actually give away as you are collecting. So I, I might be getting something new, but while I get it, I need to look at that which is old and give it away. The same applies to clothing, appliances, uh, that which you have in your homes, whether it's your... Um, foodstuffs, etc. You don't just collect without giving away. Learn to give away as well. These are just a few uh, tips that I thought I'd share with you this beautiful Friday here uh, from this lovely city of London. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us, myself included, and may we be from among those who uh, take pride in our dress code, our surroundings, 
mashallah tabarak Allah, the house we live in, the room we live in, uh, may we be from those who can get up in the morning with a fresh smile and be happy to breathe the fresh air outside. And we should never be from among those who are lazy. Uh, you, your hair is not good. You, even if you have a beard or you have, you're, you're dressed in, in, in an abaya or a thobe or anything, it doesn't mean that because you dressing religiously, you just need to let it go. You know, neaten your, 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 yourself. Make sure that you're presentable. And in that way, you will feel good. You will be good. Your spirituality will increase your closeness to Allah. The gift, those who look at you, they will be encouraged. They will want to be like you. They will want to actually, uh, they will definitely learn a lesson from what you have just done. And uh, inshallah, you will get a reward for it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us all. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.